everybody, it's your girl, Chibi Chaz. It's sad to say that the school year is approaching. What was this summer? I'm just going on a tiny, tiny rant. This summer did nothing for me. Like, yes, my booty got a little bigger. Yes, I kind of had a glow up. But like, instead of being eventful, I literally was just at home playing video games, waiting to get fed because I was always hungry. Wow, thanks, Summer. I mean, I could have hung out with friends, but then again, I'm lazy. So, since the school year, <sighs> it's approaching. I know a lot of my upcoming freshmen are probably freaking out. Or y'all chill, y'all probably like, I got this. I ain't sweating, but you watching the video, so. Hi, I am going to be giving you guys probably the best freshman advice because I'm gonna be real guys I don't want you guys to end up like me. Me is a prime example of what you do not want to become. Try not to pay attention. See what happens. You will regret it. Summer school exists and they'll force it on you. $200 per class that you fail. I'm gonna just let you choose. I'm gonna just let you choose. You know, from being an eighth grader where you're like top tier of the school. This that to we scared I understand how it is it could be really intimidating and really scary because let's be real y'all gonna be 13 in the same school as 18 year olds I was scared too but I'm gonna be real with you guys and give you guys the honest truth nothing to be scared of so in this video I'll be giving you 10 tips and advice for you upcoming freshmen let's go all right so the first thing that I have down is please be Organized. I know I did, but you guys have probably heard your teachers in middle school saying, you know, when you're in high school, you guys are going to want to be organized. If you're not organized now, high school is going to be really hard for you. They were not joking. At the beginning of the school, you know, you're probably already organized, and if you're not, make sure you organize yourself. How my school is, we have an A day and B day, which means we only have four classes each day. All schedules vary. If you have two separate days, so like an A day or B day type where you have four classes, each class is about an hour long. If you do have a school type like that where you do have an A and B day, I would suggest to get an A day and B day binder. So A day should have all of your A day classes, and B day should have all your B day classes. Some people also go far and beyond as of getting two backpacks for a day and b day i mean i have run into this issue where sometimes i will pack my a day binder and it's definitely a b day and you will have none of your class stuff for that day they can't do anything about it but probably give you extra sheets if they're nice that's real so some people you know try to throw that out the window and just like get two separate backpacks of two separate colors and organize them that way i think i'm going to do that this year because i kept running into problems of where i kept bringing the wrong binder again even if you have a day where you have all eight class I still suggest either getting small singular binders for each eight of those classes or getting a huge ring binder with sliders for each individual class and actually keeping up with that I would even go as far as getting two binders again and just splitting it half and half four classes here four classes there just kind of like an A day and B day binder so that it's not too much and it doesn't get too cluttered fast in that big binder but again I really suggest singles for A day classes pay attention to your school supplies like if your teacher tells you to get two composition notebooks get two composition notebooks because you write a lot in English okay guys English in high school is not just like free write free write poem time no you gonna write essays narrative essays out the window you guys are gonna be doing figurative writing research papers informative writing you guys will be doing all types of new things okay freshman year um, most of my writing was based off of books you guys will be doing a lot more reading and if you guys don't do the reading you guys will fail do your summer reading you will fail also just another tip and advice for those a days and b day if you have a day homework do your a day homework on the b day like you have a whole bunch of a day homework when it is it's currently B day, do A day's homework. Then you won't fall behind and it's easier to keep track. Be organized, period. Do it. If you don't, I'll sue you, period, okay? I'll fight you. I'm not intimidating. The second thing I have down for freshman advice is please don't get caught up in drama. And I'm gonna be real guys, middle school is filled with dramas. This is mainly for the ladies. I mean, everybody in general, stay out of drama. It is not worth it. Do not entertain it. Do not even try to chase it. You know, if you hear that a fight's going on, I promise you now, it may seem all funny and ha 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 that there's a fight, but I promise you, try not to entertain it as much. Like, I mean, I'm guilty of peeking a little, but then it's like, you know, if you have a, that video of them getting fought, um, um, which I do and I can probably 
Like, don't, don't be me. I'm still learning from my ways, but I'm for real, guys. If you do see a fight, don't sit there and record it because if the deans catch you recording or somebody snitches on you and say, oh, I got this recording from blah, 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 they will drag you out of class or drag you from wherever you are, take you to the office and be like, so we need you in court. You got the video. You have to write an incident report. You have to do everything. Why? Because you have the video. And then guess what? <laughs> You're involved. You're involved with this petty situation that you don't even know about. But guess what? You go see him in court. You want to know why? Because you messing with the law. What's that song? How does that song go? But yeah, no, um, it's really pointless to record it and also to fight guys. Please don't be childish and entertain these people. Like my best advice for this is just do not entertain. There's always a better answer than to fight. Unless they put their hands on you first, then I give you full proof. I give you all. They put their hand on you first. Boy, you better start really. I'm not telling you to run away from the fighting. You guys may be arguing, but you do not hit first. You do not. Unless they hit you first. That's when you can start hitting. Do not let these little girls and these little boys walk all over you, baby girl. Don't do it. But also, like, ask your parents first. I mean, like, you can listen to Chibi Mom all you want, Chibi Mama. But ask your real parents, because I can only do so much. I don't want them spanking me, because I can definitely still be spanked, okay? And not in the kinky way. There's always a mature way to, instead of fighting, talk it out as best as you can, even if your guy's voice is raised. Be the one to just keep it chill. What I did was anytime somebody, I heard somebody was talking crap about me, or anytime somebody said whoop de woo or this and that, I never entertained it, and guess what? It didn't continue on after that day unless it is something like bullying if it is something like bullying don't think that telling somebody like a teacher or a, the deans that you're being bullied is snitching or that it's weak or you're you're soft or whatever or you're childish no what's childish is them bullying you don't ever think that you telling somebody your feelings are getting hurt or you think that you are in danger don't think that telling somebody i'm sorry but because you're not you know the ones that are freaking childish are the bullies but my best advice is please don't entertain them guys fighting is not worth it the third thing i have for you guys is the third thing funny story um female freshmen you know you freshman girl you know little girls little my little chibis um you know you boys can listen to this too because this this can't apply to you i'm not saying it won't but um hi she little girls hi cutie pies my uwus my kusi usu uwus i don't know what the fuck that was whatever you guys i just want to remind you guys you know you guys are you guys are 14 and 15. that's so exciting you know that's so cool um but i just want to let you know don't listen to these seniors baby girl these Seniors are 17 and 18 years old, considering either illegal or almost illegal. <laughs> that gap! You know, it'd be different if uh, there was that gap and you were already 18, but you're 14 and 15. That's not good, okay? That's really not good. These senior boys will try and get in your pants. Not because they love you, though. Not because they love you. Because trust me, honey, they're going to college. They gonna get college females. You know, females, they're, they're age. Not you cute bunions. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be 100 with you. They don't love you. You wanna know what they want? You wanna know what they want? All my Filipinos out there, translate this for them. They want your peck peck. Your peck peck. They don't want you anything else but for that. They don't be like, You see that freshman right there? She, 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 she gorgeous, bro. She beautiful. No. They're like, <laughs> Bro, if you know that freshman, she may be like 14. I have to cut it off like right after, but I think I'm about to smell. That's all they think of you. They literally think of you as just like, a toy and i don't want to see any of you guys getting caught up because trust me it doesn't make you look cool at all if you're dating a senior like i, I promise you I, like i'm trying to tell you it does not make you look cool like we literally look at you like ew this is disgusting somebody call 911. r kelly is in the building like it's not cute don't do it so please guys do not entertain these boys they don't want anything but to just get in your pants and twandle and whittle and play with your little body like you know how we used to play with dolls you the doll baby girl and the boys is you so and boys vice versa i mean i haven't really heard of females that do it but there are some out there stay on your toes stay 10 toes down period y'all better be on your guard if i see it i'm gonna be real i'm gonna talk that's nasty that's gross. So, I'll puke on both. Even if they ain't trying to get in your pants, don't listen to anything that they're saying. Like, don't get influenced with drugs. Don't think that jeweling makes you cool. Because, I mean, well, the high schoolers, all of them jewel, so I gotta get a jewel. I seen a lot of people when I was a freshman start jeweling because they thought it was cool and everyone was jeweling. Oh my god. Well, baby girl, your lungs are now crushed. 
senior year, you wanna walk across that freaking stage, you gonna be like, oh, thank you, thank you. Save your lung, be healthy, like don't jewel, don't have a nicotine addiction, it's not cute, it's not fun because you know it's all fun and games, fun won't get addicted, oop, until you lose it and you start panicking and have a panic attack and then you realize you're addicted. It's hard to get off. Some people have stress issues, but if you are doing it just to be cool, it's not good. Don't do it. Okay, that's my jewel talk. That's it, that's it guys. Don't be nicotine addicted, don't be addicted. The fourth advice that I got for you guys is be involved as much as possible. I know you guys are going to be having freshman orientation soon or already have had it, but I'm gonna be real with you. We're gonna tell you the same thing, but be involved as much as possible. Like, I can't stress this enough. You will get the best high school experience out of it. Don't think it's putting too much on your plate. Don't think that it's a waste of your time because it's really not. Those are memories that you will be able to cherish forever. High school, you only get once unless you become a super senior, which I do not recommend. You only get to go through high school once in your life so why not make the best of it go to sport games you know go to basketball games football games hockey games tennis volleyball literally any sport game that you can't go to even if you're not interested in the sport try and go to it you may never know you may like the crowd and you may even find yourself wanting to participate in whatever sport that is that's what being involved does for you you gain friends there are so many other things just like musicals and plays even though you may think in your mind like oh i hate musicals or i hate plays go to at least one support your school and go to at least one you never know it's so cool to see a common face on stage and see their talent. That's what inspired me. I never thought in a day in my life that I would be in a musical as one of the sub lead. Our school did Hairspray and I was Little Inez. 50 cents. You guys, um, go to plays, go to musicals, because again, you may find yourself wanting to do that activity. Let me tell you, it may be your worst experience, it may be your best experience, but it's still a memory. Even if that bad experience, guess what? That's a memory that you can tell one day. There's so many things that you can do. There's talent shows. You know, don't be afraid to show your talent. There's homecoming. Guys, I cannot stress enough. I know there's a lot of freshmen that are like, I don't know if I'm gonna go to homecoming or not. I don't know. I'm gonna let you know. Chibi thought is coming out, okay? I'm gonna be real. I'm not thought but I have my thoughtish ways. Baby boys and baby girls, let me tell you. Please, please, please go to homecoming. That's probably the most frequent topic talked about in high school is their memories at homecoming. I just want to let you know, my females, my baby girls out there, let that inner thought out. I'm not saying go extreme and just be like, don't go doing freaking dinky linky things. At homecoming, I know ugh, you won't get found out and you won't be talked about. So if you try it, test it yourself, baby girl. Do it yourself. All my girls that just want to have fun and shake a little little tail or something, do it at homecoming. They accept it. They can't do anything. If the whole school throwing it back, what can they do? I mean, there is this one security guard at our school that's always like, Shut the light. Shut the light. You guys, you know exactly who I'm talking about if you go to Grandview. But do we separate? No, everybody is one. We all doing the same thing. Don't think you're the only one out there doing the one thing because you're not. Unless again, you're doing the nasty Then Yes, you are the only one and you should get help, okay? They pay sweetie or however you pronounce your name, my type. I wanna see all my freshman girls out there. I wanna see all my freshman boys out there. As long as it's consensual, they're chill with it. Even if you're like, oh my god, that's not my groove. Oh my god, I have a boyfriend. Y'all don't go in the middle. Y'all stay on the outskirts. Outskirts, people just like to dance and groove. Like, I'm not gonna throw it back, but I'm gonna move my shoulders. Like, hey. And then, you know, we have the couples. Me and my boo, my boo Tang Jamal, we be in the middle. And I be catching Jamal too. Like, hey. Damn. Burn. Thicker than a bottle of oatmeal. Don't think that homecoming is just full of craziness and it's just not your type and dancing's not your vibe. Go, there's photo booths. They have water. They want us to stay hydrated because it gets really hot. But yeah, guys, get involved as much as you can. You'll have so many memories to look back on. And it looks great on your transcript, you know? Just to know that you are involved in either clubs, that you're involved in a sport or plays or any little activity, orchestra, band, that can go on your transcript and it'll look so good on it. Because colleges look for that to make sure like, oh, they're involved with their school. You know, they weren't just focused on their schoolwork. They also made sure they had fun. Colleges actually look at that. So the fifth thing, yes, I know being involved, like I said, can be extremely fun. It's high school super fun and you just want to do all these things as a freshman. You want to fit in and stay popular. Stay focused as well. I'm using me as an example. Like I said in the beginning of this video, 
video, I did not do well. And I'm totally gonna wrap myself out. I'm totally gonna put my failure out there, not to just embarrass myself and let people know that like, I was a failure in freshman year. No, I want to inspire and put my foot down as hard as I can to you freshmen. Stay focused. I know you don't wanna go to class, okay? I know it's easy to ditch. Wake up now because these four years count. Because if you fail a class, that goes in as zero credit. You're gonna have to make that up. By the time you graduate, you have to have a certain amount of credits graduate. So my freshman year, I thought it was cute to chase after my boyfriend Jamal. Girls don't get caught up with boys. Boys don't get caught up with girls. Don't let them waste your time, period. Little story time. As a freshman, I was really boy crazy over just one guy, which is my current boo thing. Yes, I got him, whoopie whoopie woo, but that's not the point. Because while I was chasing after him and we we're off and on and blah, 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 I was failing school. I was ditching classes just to go see him because I thought it would make him like me more. I wasn't trying in class because I was too busy thinking about him. You know, I was too busy on my popularity. I didn't care. I thought it was cool to disrespect the teacher. I thought it was cool to just, you know, not do my homework and just be dumb in class and laugh about like me not knowing what the f is going on with the test. Like, what is this, bro? <laughs> and people like, Jasmine, it's literally telling you to write the APC. It's not that hard. Really? It's not funny, it's not cute. What's the point? You're going to need to make up that year. Summer school exists. You will have to go to it if you want to graduate. It's not worth it. Yes, high school can be extremely hard, but there's help everywhere. You know, they have math tutoring centers. They have resource centers specifically for whichever course that you are struggling with. You have an off, that break that you have for yourself to do whatever you want. I highly suggest using those breaks to study. Go in for help if you need help. Talk to your counselors about, you know, what you can do to help because my counselor helped me so much with what I needed to do. Me sophomore year still wasn't as responsible as I should have been in order to be like, hey, on my off, you gotta do your work. I had to force myself to go to my counselor and make sure she knew where I was on my off just to make sure that I was doing my work. And if you have to go through those measures just to make sure you are successful and you make sure you are getting good grades because you those do drastically count, do it. Spending your whole off with your friends is completely fine if you have good grades. You know, they're not true friends if they're not wanting to see you succeed. They're not true friends if they're telling you to come out and ditch class. They're not true friends if they're telling you, oh, it's okay to fail. The ones that are telling you, like, get your in the library the ones that are like oh why didn't you ask me i got you or even the ones sitting there doing their homework with you like you know the people that aren't trying to help you and encourage you to succeed and just do well in school in general they're not your true friend and don't ever think you're not smart enough or unintelligent enough to succeed in school because i promise you you are it's a mindset you know you can't walk into class having a negative mindset you have to walk in with a positive don't walk into a test thinking you're going to fail it walk into the test thinking you're going to pass it and you're going to do great on it because i promise you you will have that great outcome and that positivity come right back at you i mean i never thought in a million years for being bad at math since elementary school that i would get a b plus both semesters in math all due to my mindset me just thinking like i'm doing so good and guess what i did good okay the sixth advice that i want to tell you guys is don't try to fit in i can't stress this enough don't worry about how other people are dressing don't worry about how other people are talking acting don't you be yourself you're literally one in a million like neo said girl you're so one in a million you are that was horrible but it's true you are completely one in a million and no one can ever be like you don't try to fit in with a crew that you can't even relate to it's a waste of time um, that's really all I have to say about that subject is, you know, you will always find somebody that is your cup of tea. Don't try and be the same. Your goal is to be unique and to be yourself and just to be you. Because there's only ever going to be one you. You may see these upperclassmen who are trying to fit in with other people, but they didn't probably get this advice. So I'm telling you, Chibi Mama right here for you. Come here. I love you. The seventh advice that I do want to throw into this, when we tease you freshmen, when we call you like freshies and like little kids, because you guys are little kids, just like throwing that out there. I'm still a kid, like pause. When we call you guys little kids and stuff, or like freshies, don't take it personal. Don't be sensitive because it's a tradition. It's literally traditional. Like if we had to get made fun of and be called freshies, you guys have to too. You guys get to tell the other freshmen that they're freshies too. Keep the tradition rolling. Keep it rotation. Even if we boo you guys at assemblies, it's all love. We still boo the soft what? Like, it's okay. The eighth fact that I did want to reel in into this video is relationships. The best relationship advice that I have for middle schoolers coming freshmen is um, don't walk into high school thinking that the person you are with is going to be your forever. I mean that as true and as loving as possible. I'm not wishing a breakup on anybody, but I am being realistic. Don't walk into your relationship thinking that she is the one, even if she is the one, because I'm not hating on it. I don't think 
could, I mean, it's possible. It is possible. I'm not saying it's not possible. You have to understand that you guys come from a small school where there's so many people to double the times people that you have in your middle school. Triple even. Don't be surprised, you know, if you see another honey dips and you're like, but I got my girl. The heart wants what it wants. I'm not telling you guys to go out and cheat. I'm not telling you guys to just go dump your girl. Do it in the kindest way possible. Just be real. That's the best advice I can give you. If you ain't feeling her or you know, you just want to see new people, straight up tell her like, hey, um, I think it's best to see new people. Whatever you gotta say to that person as nice as possible. Don't be like deuces B and like dip out on her because that's like jacked up. I, again, can use myself as an example. This short story I'm about to tell you guys, the guy that I did this to, you know who you are. People probably know who I did this to. I am so sorry. I was childish, and I really hope one day you can forgive me because you were my best friend, and I let that friendship and relationship go to waste due to my childish and immaturity. So I am genuinely sorry, and... I hope again one day you forgive me because I am mature now and I really do wish we can gain our friendship back because you were my best friend. Uh, sorry, um, this little like thing. Um, I was dating this guy, eighth grade, and we went into high school. We were completely cool. We were best friends since sixth grade. Actually, dated in sixth grade, then fell off. Still, we we're best friends. I realized there was a lot of attractive people that I saw, and I thought like, oh my god, I can get this guy, and I can get this guy, and blah blah blah. I mean, I was smart enough to know that I was, what I was doing was in the wrong. Like my mindset wasn't where I was supposed to be in a relationship, and I had to stop myself and you know be like, hey, I don't think I'm ready for a relationship. So I straight up lied to my boyfriend at the time and said hey so my brother's telling me I have to break up with you because I'm not allowed to date and I was really sad I actually cried because I knew what I was doing like how I was approaching it was wrong it was for the best because I didn't want to end up being unfaithful even though I never in a day in my life think I would ever be unfaithful but I knew that I was becoming attracted to other people and I did want to see others but the most thing I was upset about was me approaching it the wrong way and me lying and saying like oh my brother said I can't date you anymore I'm sorry and he literally said the sweetest response he hugged me he goes it's okay we'll just wait for another day and that just made me feel like even more crap like I was like oh my god there won't be another day like ugh. I'm a bitch I was I was not no more when I want to be I can't but no and again to that person I'm so sorry like I did not mean to do that to you I'm so sorry yeah that happened and two months later here comes Jamal in my life and I'm like my new blue tang and it still broke his heart. It broke his heart because, you know, he thought there was still going to be us and there wasn't. So my best advice is just to be honest with whoever you're going to be with. And, you know, just don't walk into high school thinking that you guys are going to be forever. Because I'm gonna be, I'm just being real, the realest I can be. Not wishing breakup on anybody. Life happens. New people come in your life and the heart wants what it wants. Period. Like Selena Gomez said. Take those Disney notes, man. Disney told us. Ninth advice that I got for you guys is high school is not like the movie. Don't think high school is like high school musical or mean girls or clueless. Like it's not like any of those stereotypical movie things. Like you will not just see jocks like playing with footballs in the cafeteria like oh, yeah. Or like the emos just like bleh. And or like the mean girls like <laughs> get out of my way like no everyone's just blended like i mean there's clicks like you know there's like oh they're the friend group yes there's popularity levels but it's not like oh my god here come the jocks ah! no half the jocks sometimes be like nerds too like nobody cares like you know like we don't be putting labels on people we just be living our life so don't think that don't be like i'm gonna become a cheerleader so that i can be popular in one of the jocks bro i was a cheerleader you see me I ain't that popular. There's some cheerleaders on the team that people are like, who's that? Never seen her in my life. It's not like that. Like, so don't get that in your head at all. The 10th and last advice that I got for you guys is don't be afraid to ask for help from classmates, from teachers, from literally anybody. Like, I mean, my DMs and my Snapchat, which will all be linked down below, are always open for any questions. I will be happy to ask if I missed out on anything that you're curious on. Comment down below or again, inbox me, DM me. But yeah, that's basically all the advice that I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video freshmen please take what i said in this video really real and really serious how much i said will actually benefit you and your, your high school lifestyle if you guys have any other video suggestions comment down below and i will be sure to take them in all my social media will be linked down below in the description please subscribe to be part of chibi land become a resident and i hope to see you guys in the next video